So I think we're gonna be working in a little bit of illustrator work, doing some vector nice. line art. I play a card game. It involves a lot of like using different tokens for different types of creatures and effects and things like that. And I'm mm. going to be kind of building off of this little mushroom carrier, like warrior <laughs> like type guy. So I'm just nice. going to hop in the pen tool here, kind of adjust my stroke. One of the tools that I've also been trying to implement a bit more is the smooth tool. When I'm just drawing with the pen tool, it really helps like kind of soften up lines that aren't perfect and it gives me a lot less of a headache. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just lining some stuff up over here, getting some uh, yeah. little lines for this wood that here. Just... So I'm just going to do a little bit of adjusting. I'm going to do a fun little thing where I'm going to group all this together so this doesn't look so crazy on the side. It's looking pretty good, I think. Yeah. I think we're, cl we're I mean, cleaning up. Nice. And I'm going to see what this looks like. Big reveal with no sketch behind it. I like it. I think it looks cute. I'm just going to make a copy of this guy real quick and I'm going to expand him so I can start coloring in some spaces. So I this is going to be my little color palette down here. So now we can start with the black, I think, which will be the yeah. eyes. Go into some pants. Yeah, I feel like this is starting to really come together now, which is really fun. So we'll go ahead and get some light green in here. Good on color. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. I went ahead and brought in kind of like an example token. Uh, this one is really fun too. This is an ooze. What I'm doing now is I'm just, you know, for the sake of consistency, gonna bring these assets over. Try to add a little bit of a background to this just to kind of make it appealing yep. because this is gonna be some type of like Instagram, maybe, mm, you know, okay. Twitter posts that I think would be fun. Have some prepped over here. So I'm just gonna come in here and mess around with some colors and textures. I want to kind of add some of the like general details, like, you know, where you'd be able to find it, the price, which I think is probably important to stuff like that. Yeah. And right now all I'm doing is just like kind of jumping in between the command function, the shift function and the arrow keys to like show how many faces I have on the actual star itself. I am going to go ahead and add in some of my details like this will be a monthly thing. So I am really liking where this is going. So I'm thinking maybe we can make two um, and kind of promote this little guy. For the ooze, it's kind of fun. I feel like that opens up to like a lot of different options, you know? L look yeah. at that. Oh, <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah. Bring this up a little bit. I think we maybe should probably change the color, right? Like maybe do like a slime green or something like that. Maybe down to multiply. Yeah, that's fun. I think it would be really fun to maybe bring this into Adobe Express and maybe animate Ooh, the type. Okay. So I'll go ahead and hop over to Adobe Express. Bring this in here. I love that this is drag and drop. It makes it so yes. easy. So, so, so easy. So this is my favorite thing about this program personally, and it is uh, the fact that you can animate text. Some type of looping thing would be pretty cool. I'm uh, kind of leaning towards this for the top. Okay. Maybe we'll go here, do some more animation. I think this is pretty <laughs> cute. Super easy, go. super fast. Jacob, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Be safe and uh, see you soon, guys. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Bye.